So originally, I wanted today's video to showcase my 009 Prince model, a smaller custom that recently I've been working on. Today his chassis was supposed to arrive, but I'm an idiot and ordered it from Amazon. And basically I was told the chassis I wanted was out of stock, even though when I looked it up it wasn't out of stock, but my money was refunded and honestly I just kinda gave up. So instead, today we'll be taking a look at another project, actually completely starting a new project, one that I've wanted to do for a long time, but just recently have gotten the resources to be able to try. So for the first time in a long time, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to O-Scale and do our best to make prop accurate slate trucks from the classic Thomas and Friends series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, will be the building portion. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. So today, as you can see here, we're going to be starting a um, different sort of project. Like I said in the Slate Trucks history of video, some of my favorite narrow gauge rolling stock was the Slate Trucks themselves. And the same person who sent me the salt van kit actually had a, well, Slate Truck kit for two of them. As you can see, I have the parts for the first one already laid out and the other ones for this one still in the package. And today I thought it'd be fun to watch me put it together and document how exactly I make these little guys. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Thankfully, everything kind of fits together like a puzzle. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here and um, secure this part. So while I've been waiting for this thing to dry, I've actually figured out the buffer system. There's these little pieces of wood that sit here on the front, and then there's this plastic black casing that surrounds, oops, that surrounds those. And then once applied, that makes the buffer. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Alrighty, and that's two of the buffers applied. Sir? Go, sir. Alrighty, and we have all four buffers fitted to the main body. So I've fitted the axle boxes onto one side. It turns out they just kind of fit in like puzzle pieces. So it looks like I'll just be doing that the same on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Here you go, sir. And those are the axle boxes applied to either side. All right, so I uh, kind of went ahead and finished the wagon. I realized before I glued the axle boxes on, I should probably fit the wheels and went ahead and did that on both sides and also added the couplings on the front and back. So this is the completed slate wagon or one of them. I still have one more to build. so. Let's go ahead and speed through that really quick. And here's a look at the second slate truck. This one has um, 3D printed couplers, believe it or not, instead of the Pekka ones that I have on this one for now, as well as his wheels already applied and basically everything done. The only thing that I haven't done yet is fit the slate load inside of this one. The uh, kit itself came with several of them, so I can put them in there. I can put, heck, I could put candy in here if I wanted to. This could be an anything wagon. I really love the way the wood itself looks, so it's gonna stink to actually paint these, but, um, Putting them together and actually making these has been a super fun project. And currently I have some ideas in what livery I want them to sport and what they'll look like. If you 
guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content, and expect updates on these two pretty soon. I have pretty big ideas for both of them, and while they may not have an engine to pull them around at the moment, I still intend to make them as well as I can, and hopefully this will spark new projects like this in the future. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know down below, and as always guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.